Phonological processes are used to describe the simplifications that children make as they attempt to imitate adult-like speech. Since young children cannot easily control their mouth to organize all tongue movements to make words as the adults do, they simplify the words. A child may be able to articulate a speech sound. For example, a child could say the sound duh, but he might be unable to put duh into certain words. That's why some children say gog instead of dog. It is much easier for the child to use only the back of his or her mouth to make the guh sound. Guh, og. It's much more difficult to flip your tongue from the front all the way to the back. So for example, the word dog requires the tongue to start up here, duh, and to end back here, guh, dog. Well, that's a lot of work for a little tongue. It's much easier just to stay at the back and go gog. That's a simplification. Think of it in terms of learning to play the piano. You may be able to easily press the middle C key over and over again. Ding, ding, ding. However, if you are asked to put middle C into a song, you may struggle to imitate an accomplished piano player like an adult speaker. And so you'd make all sorts of errors. Another, another word for these errors are phonological processes or simplifications.